Hi everyone, sorry my voice is really raspy. I still have a cough, so just bear with me. As always, I channel multiple energy groups on here, so keep in mind that some of these readings will resonate for you, some of them will be your energy group, and some of them won't be, so only take the readings that I post that resonate with you. Never try to force it to fit. And thank you guys. Thank you guys for all the support. I really appreciate the support. It's why, I'm, why I keep doing it, because I'm, I'm not getting that many views on here. But I mean, if you guys are commenting and you're telling me that the videos are helping you or that they resonate with you, then I'll keep doing these for you guys. Um, but I mean, I do need some help getting back in the algorithm because liking the video, commenting, um, I really just appreciate the support. Thank you guys for that. So let's see what the storyline is. Sorry, I know I sound like crap. <clears throat> the sun. You have new love. You have a king of pentacles type. This is someone who's loyal, stable, grounded, committed. Could have heavy earth placements in their chart as well. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person's coming in quick. And this person is going to be like a light in your life with the sun card. This per is it going to be, tell me more about this really quick. There's going to be celebration. You're going to be very happy about this. I feel like maybe it's been a long time coming with a knight of pentacles. I feel like you really had to work, even if you never met this person, I feel like you had to work on yourself. You had to work on your own stability for a long time. And I feel like, I feel like you guys helped each other almost in the astral plane. So even if you haven't met, it's like energetically you've been maybe dreaming about each other or telepathically picking up on each other. And I feel like you guys have both helped each other work on this Knight of Pentacles energy, this, this stability, this loyalty. You guys have both helped each other move things from rough waters to calmer waters. And I feel like the, the connection is very telepathic to the point where I feel like it's actually getting you in a, in like a meditative state. Tell me about the, uh, like, I just feel like there's a strong psychic connection here between you and this new person that I feel has either come in or is about to come in in the near future. Tell me about the 10 of wands and the page of cups. <clears throat> oh my gosh, sorry guys. Oh, I know I'm gross right now. The Magician, Ten of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Four of Wands. Because we had the, what was it? The Ten of Wands and the Page of Cups. Okay. The Moon, what's, what's the Moon? What's hidden? Hmm. What else is hidden? Okay. Now, this other person, I, I feel like... I feel like you have a very psychic connection to this other person as well, but I almost feel like this one's more psychic. I don't know if you're as aware of the telepathic connection between the two of you, because I feel like there's so much illusion here, like on your end or theirs, like there's so much fear on someone's end. There's so much anxiety or insecurity or self-doubt on your end or theirs that I feel like it almost blocked your intuition. So it's like you would channel this person, but you wouldn't like believe that you were actually channeling them. This could have been a life partner. This other person that I feel has already been in your life or is in your life. Um, and then we have this King of Pentacles over here, which is someone new that's coming in or that maybe you've just met them. Take it as it resonates. I feel like we've been channeling the King of Pentacles for a while, so I'm really curious when you guys meet this person, let me know. But I, I feel like this other person was given this divine opportunity with you. Like they were given this opportunity to be with you. This could have even been a life partner. 
they may have loved you so much that there may have even been a soul contract that you guys wrote. Like maybe your spirit guides made an agreement with each other. Like, hey, these, this, these people could get married or they could have, even if it's a friendship, they're like, they could have long-term stability together. They could have like 10 of cups, like they could have something real together. Um, but I, I feel like this person procrastinated for too long out of fear. So this was either an original life partner that you were meant to be with, but you know, their free will, their conscious mind, their ego, their life experiences, this lifetime kind of got in the way. So let's say for example, I'm sorry, I know I sound like shit, but um, let's say for example, like you knew you were going to meet this person, like you just had a feeling about it. And then years later you meet them and you feel the deep soul connection, but Maybe they didn't learn their karmic lessons in time for you. Like, let's say this is someone that you had soul contracts with um, before incarnating. Like, this is going to be my life partner. This is going to be the person I marry. But then their free will, their ego, their their life experiences, their their choices took them down a more karmic path. Now, this person wasn't meant to go down a karmic path for as long as they did. They... Because this person is wise. This person is an old soul. This person was just meant to go down a karmic path for a little bit and learn their lessons and rise to the top and be a powerful manifester, be an emperor, be, you know, your divine counterpart. But I feel like something happened. Like they stayed in a karmic relationship for years longer than they were supposed to. Or maybe there was like an addiction or multiple addictions. Or it's like there's something where it's like they were learning the karmic lessons, but then they just held on to that karmic energy. It's like their spirit guides were trying to get them to rise to the top and, and you know, find this stability. But for whatever reason, it's going to be different for everyone. But for whatever reason, they, they kind of just clung to this more karmic path. They, they didn't learn the lessons very quickly. Um, some of them have, have learned the lessons, but it's like years later than they were originally meant to learn them. <coughs> oh my gosh, sorry guys. For others, they still haven't learned the lessons. But I feel like when you and this person met, I feel like it was almost a... Um, a reminder of like what they're meant to have. And I almost feel like their soul was like, oh shit, like I was supposed to be ready by now. I was supposed to be this emperor by now. I was supposed to have learned less these karmic lessons and I was supposed to be a loyal person by, by now, but I still have issues with cheating or third parties or needing attention. Um, or I was meant to be in a stable position by now, but I'm, I'm still, I still have all these karmic lessons that I haven't wrapped up. So it's almost like this person was like struggling to catch up to you because it's like their soul recognized you and their soul recognized like, oh shit, there's like, there's a soul contract here. Like we were originally meant to get married. Like it's almost like a deer in headlights moment. Like I'm sure it probably wasn't conscious. It could be, but for most, I feel like it probably was more of their soul having that like deer in headlights moment where they're like, oh shit, like I'm like years behind this person. Like not, not that you're above them but just that they were supposed to be ready for you. Like it was destined that you guys meet at the time that you did, I believe for most of you, but it's like, not for all of you, but for most, but I, I feel like, you know, it's like they just weren't ready for you. They weren't, and they were supposed to be, you know, this was originally supposed to be your life partner. And, <coughs> oh my gosh, guys, I'm so sorry. Bear with me. I hope this cough goes away soon. Um, I feel like this person, like after they met you, they tried really hard to manifest you behind the scenes, but they weren't putting in the work consciously. So this could be someone like the magician, the 10 of cups, like they, they see a 10 of cups with you. They see true love with you. They see you as this empress, you know, the fool car, this new start. They see you as their dream person, but I, I just feel, I, and I feel like, I feel like they were negotiating with your spirit guides for a while. I feel like, I feel like they, it, it's like they're trying to catch up, but I feel like there's like this illusion, this, this, um, like they're trying to manifest you. 
you know, ten of, the magician, the ten of cups, it's like they do see true love with you. They are trying to manifest you. They're trying to meditate on this. They're trying to make this happen. They could even be putting in a lot of effort and a lot of energy into like playing games with you. Because I feel like the energy I get from this person is like they're not being direct. Like they are putting a lot of energy and intention into being with you or into getting you to chase them or to whatever. But they're not actually being direct and honest with their feelings for you. So they could be doing like, you know, lo like love spells on you. <coughs> oh my gosh, sorry guys. This man could be doing love spells on you. Or he's just meditating on it or it's like he's trying to maybe he studies psychology and he's trying to like analyze it he's like okay like he's trying to read you he's like okay she's an empress what's gonna work on her like what's gonna get her to chase me what's gonna get her to want me more so it's like he's putting all this energy and effort into playing these mind games into into manifesting you but he's not actually doing anything in the physical world he's not actually openly communicating with you and it's kind of crazy because that's what it would take to manifest you. The games are not going to work. The, if he is doing magic, it's not going to work. If he's playing mind games with you, if he's hurting you or making you jealous, it's actually only going to turn you off. Um, but if this man were to just come forward and be like, hey, I have feelings for you or hey, like, you know, what are you what are you doing tomorrow night? You want to go out? You want to, you know. Um, how is your day? Just like simple things. If he just put an effort into just talking to you, you know, so it's like he sees you as this empress and he's so focused on manifesting it, but he needs to do something in the physical. He needs to communicate verbally. And again, even if it's just baby steps, even if it's just like a like making small talk with you and showing an interest in in your hobbies or just in who you are as a person. But I feel like for most of you, he's not really doing much. Um, I feel like his spirit guides have been giving him a chance with you. They've been pushing him towards you. They've been saying, hey, like they he's not listening to his intuition. Like if he tries to make you jealous, your spirit guides and his spirit guides are right there, like, you know, like face palming, like, like, like that's not going to work on her. You're going to turn her off. What are you doing? But I feel like he's not listening to his intuition because he's used to those games working or he's used to, he doesn't know how else to approach you or maybe he feels insecure. Maybe he sees you as very beautiful, very interesting so it's like he doesn't know how else to approach you but his spirit guys have been trying to tell him hey that's not going to work on her that's not going to get her attention um and they've been pushing him for a while they've been saying you need to communicate with her you need to i almost feel like because i'm seeing like a not an invisible letter how do i explain it i just got like a, a visual of someone writing something on a scroll but then the scroll disappears. So I almost feel like some of your spirit guides even gave him the correct words to say to win you over. Some of, some of, um, like someone's spirit guide even straight up went to this man and was like, Hey, if you're really into her, this is like, she likes a lot of attention. She likes, um, to feel loved and supported. She maybe like, maybe she's old fashioned. She likes to feel protected, she likes to feel uh, wanted. She likes it when someone shows empathy and interest in her hobbies. You know, like, I feel like this spirit guide straight up just went to this man and was like, hey, this is like, they like, maybe this man was about to write to you, um, like a letter or social media or something. And the spirit guide like went to this man and straight up like told him what to say to you. And this man chickened out. This man was like, oh, no, it's too vulnerable. Or I don't know how to say that. That's scary. But it was like divinely led. Like his spirit guides were trying to push him to be vulnerable and open with you and actually show interest. Because as the empress, you're very confident. You're not an insecure woman like what he might be used to. You're very confident. So you're not going to resonate with games, with third parties, with any of that. You're going to be like, oh, hell no, I don't deserve that. What the Empress is going to resonate with is love, affection, loyalty, effort, a man pursuing her, um, a man making the effort for her. That's what the Empress is going to resonate with. 
<coughs> and I feel like, God, sorry, guys. I know I keep apologizing. I'm sorry. That's probably even more annoying than the cough is. <laughs> um, as always, if this is resonating, please comment. I know I, I sound like a broken record. I know it's irritating, but honestly, I cannot get these messages out there without you guys. Like YouTube will not promote these videos unless I get a lot of likes, a lot of comments, even just a heart comment. If you just leave like five heart comments below in a row, just whatever, it's it's like it really helps me a lot because I just I don't I know these are really big energy groups. Like I know these are for thousands of people, but I, I don't know how to get them seen because of how YouTube has changed the algorithm. So, you know, it, it's like YouTube readers need a lot more comments than we used to need in the past to get out there. It's, it's so anyway, I really appreciate the support. And I know some of you guys have been doing that. It really means a lot to me. And I love hearing your stories too. And I love just knowing that these are helping you. You know, that's what I'm here for. It's like, if you guys are engaging, even if there's not very many views, if, if it's still helping someone out there, I'm still going to keep doing it as long as I, I get that feedback. So thank you guys. Anyway, um, <clears throat> oh gosh, <clears throat> I feel like this man negotiated with your spirit guides for a period of time where, cause I just keep like, it's like a tug of war, like a back and forth with, with your spirit guides. I'm feeling where it's, it's like he was trying so hard to manifest you, but doing it in the wrong ways and doing it behind the scenes instead of face to face, like he should have been doing and his, your spirit guides and his kept trying to work with him and saying, hey, like, go, put yourself out there for her. Talk to her. Just talk to her. It's the easiest thing. And I feel like this man just doesn't believe in himself and he doesn't believe in the connection. He feels like it's too good to be true because it's like he wants the Ten of Pentacles with you. He wants stability, Ten of Cups. Like, he sees all that with you. But then I think that he gets in his head. So... I feel like he channels this. Like, I, I feel like this man might have psychic abilities, but he is not. He's so much in his ego that he can't tell up from down. He can't. Even though he has psychic abilities deep down, he's not in touch with them, if that makes sense. So let's say you're thinking about him a lot. Or let's say you're dreaming about him. He might have a dream about you that same night. Or if you're thinking about him a lot, he might just start missing you. And it's like you guys are telepathically connecting. So I feel like he was having these like daydreams about like, you know, possibly going into business with you or having some kind of financial stability here with you having um, like being a power couple, um, having a true love. But he told himself so like that was real, like all that, like that energy he was feeling that was real. That was real potential. That's really mutual, true love. Like there is love here. There is something real here. But I feel like his insecurities, his doubts, his fears got in the way. So he might dream about you or think about you a lot. And it's like channeling. It's like you guys are telepathically connecting. And his spirit guides are showing him the potential that you guys have together. But he told himself it was just an illusion. Seven of, seven of Cups. He told himself that this Ten of Pentacles, you know, it couldn't be that easy or it couldn't be that real. Or he told himself that he doesn't deserve it or that he's not ready for it, um, or that it's just a fantasy, it's just in his head. He's like, you know, she seems perfect. I bet there could be a new start here. But then he would go back and forth and be like, no, I bet there would be conflict, or I bet it would be another battle, or I bet she, you know, seems perfect on the outside, but I bet there's something, you know, couldn't it like, couldn't possibly be that perfect. It couldn't be that easy. Like, he sabotaged it. <coughs> And I feel like his soul was at war with his mind because his soul was like, hey, don't sabotage this. This is real. Stop. Don't be stupid. Like, this is real. You have an empress in front of your face. Don't screw this up. Um, but I, I feel like it's just like I just get this energy of like procrastination. Like he would open his heart chakra and you probably feel this. You probably feel this roller coaster energy from him where you're like, what is going on? Um. I feel like he would open his heart chakra and be like, maybe this is real, but then he would get in his head and he would doubt it and he would sabotage it. It's like he kept blocking himself. And I feel like your spirit guides don't want you to keep having to wait on this, even though there is true love here. They don't want to keep you waiting. Um, so I feel like that's why they're bringing you this new love, this king of pentacles. Because I feel like for a while, I feel like this man here was arguing with your spirit guides where... 
you know, he would start like opening his heart and being like, okay, maybe I should make an effort. Like, I don't know, maybe I should do something else. Like, maybe I should, like he, the desire was there. The feelings were there. Um, but then he wouldn't act on them. Um, and then I feel like your spirit guides would come in and be like, okay, you know what? You don't have to act on your feelings. You don't have to appreciate this empress. You don't have to communicate with her if you don't want to, but if you are choosing to play games, if you're choosing to hurt her or make her jealous or, you know, just in general, just not do anything consciously, just not make any effort towards her. If you're choosing to to stay in the dark and, and not pursue her, we're going to bring her a king of pentacles who is going to do all the things that you're not doing. You know, he's going to give her the love that you're not willing to give her. He's going to give her the loyalty that you know, you're not willing to give her like his spirit guides were willing to work with him. Even if he was behind karmically, like we talked about, like where he hadn't learned all his karmic lessons. I feel like his spirit guides were like, Hey, we'll teach you these karmic lessons quick. Um, you may even hit rock bottom. You may, it may be chaotic, but we will help you through these karmic lessons. Like we will help you get up to her. You know, it, it might be a little bit chaotic because it's going to be in a shorter time frame, but will help you get to that level where you actually can be loyal and have something stable with her if you're willing to go down that path, if you're willing to make these big life changes, if you're willing to take accountability, if you're willing to be honest and authentic, like we will work with you. If you're willing to get back in touch with your feelings, like we will work with you. And I almost feel like he kept making these like false promises to your spirit guides like, oh yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I want to do that. I want her. I love her. Like, like praying about it, but then he would never do it. He would not follow through. Um, I'm hearing that song follow through by, uh, Gavin DeGraw, I think it is. Uh, so, I, and I feel like they kept telling him, I feel like your spirit guides kept telling him, Hey, this other man is coming in then. Like if you're not following through, if you don't want to, if you don't want to be honest and authentic and go th through these karmic lessons and like get to a point of, of being good for her. Like if you don't want to, if you don't want to make an effort for her and just eat, at least ask how her day is or just open up communication with her. If you're not trying to do that, we're going to bring this new man in for her. And I feel like there was a back and forth for a while where he would panic and he'd be like, no, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Like. I promise I'll make changes. Like, just don't, don't bring this new man in. Like she's mine. I love her. I'm, I'm going to make the changes. And then your spirit guys and his would wait. They would watch him. They would observe. And he would do the same thing over and over again. Like he would relax and he would just sabotage again and he would fight his feelings. And it was a back and forth but between, you know, like he, when he would do that again, your spirit guys would be like, okay, we're bringing the new man in. And then he would be like, nope, don't bring the new man in. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm going to change. I promise. I really mean it this time. And I feel like recently your spirit guides have said enough is enough and they're, they're blocking him energetically from, cause he's been trying to sabotage this new person from coming in energetically, even if he's not conscious of it. I feel like recently your spirit guides said enough is enough. And I don't think that he's completely blocked out from your life or anything like that, but I think they said, I think they, I think someone's spirit guide put their foot down and was like, no, like you've had so many chances. We're bringing this new man in. Um, no more delays. Like we're bringing this new love in now. And you could have even asked for it too. You could have been like, you know what? I'm tired of feeling this way about this person who doesn't seem to even be interested in me. So your, your spirit guides put their foot down and they're like, okay, yeah, we're bringing this, this new man in. Um, so you're going to, you're going to have some competition ahead of you. You can go ahead and make these changes and we'll still help you with it. Um, you can make an effort towards her and she might still give you a chance, but we're not going to hold this new man back anymore. We're, we're going to let him come in now. So that's, you know, it, it's like he's, this other man still has this chance to be with you. Like he can still step up, but depending on how long he takes, you might have someone new in your life at that point. You know what I mean? So it's like they kind of just, you know, they just put their foot down. They're like, you're you're going to have to, you know, you can still try to be with this person. You can still show effort. You can still work on yourself and you might have a chance with this empress still. But but we're not going to let you block this new man from coming in if you're not willing to do all the things that he's currently willing to do. 
So anyway, I'm going to put this out there for you guys. Thank you for watching and thank you for your comments and support.